will have some commentary on that, I'm sure. <laughs> well, you know, high school is, uh, is an exciting time for everybody. I think like we were talking about at one time, high school is a time when, when you define yourself. I mean, that's the time when the personality, and especially that persona part of the personality, how I will be with people, how I will be in the world, gets defined, and when when you're in high school and you've never done this before, that's how you end up trying blue hair and, and uh, one day and then, and then a week down the line you, you, you want to do the flat hair thing and you, you try these different masks and that's where, yeah, where and the person yeah. and roles in life to see what fits both with you and how it feels to you and then what happens with you and, and other people. I, I did this intellectual thing. I don't know if it was because I was good at it. It was just that, that people responded to it. You see what I mean? Yes, and so something in that high school boy said, oh, well, people seem to like that. Let's do that. And that's how in sort of early on, uh, I think we build a, the public face of our personality that lasts us for the first half of life. But that doesn't mean that all of those other yes, possibilities <laughs> have gone anywhere. In fact, you know, when people start analysis or things like that, one of the things you see people have dreams about being in high school, it's a very common dream, going back into high school and certain things happening. And what it means is that all of those roads are not taken. You know, just because you went the pinched and tweedy route, <laughs> right? Yes, didn't indeed mean, I did. <laughs> well, that doesn't mean that, uh, and in, in some people, it's, it's as close as the left hand and the right hand. You could just as easily have been a greaser. That's right. It was right there, and there's only one little tweak of fate that puts you down one road or the other. But both of those still live in you, even though the one is the one that was lived. And then as we all get older in the first half of life, it's over. These are the things that start coming back to us. The one part develops as what is, is put into the world, right? Mm -hmm. And it develops because if that's what you're, you're living, you're well practiced at it. So you didn't have a lot of practice being a greaser, you see? No. But it, it was just as real and just as live in you as the other. It, I think it feels like, uh, it feels frightening, it feels scary, uh, it feels dark to the ego uh, only because it represents that other path, yeah. only because it represents other possibilities and the ego sometimes uh, is more like a little a little brick house but then then the wolf comes and starts blowing on the house of straw or brick it depends on what how strong, uh, strong your ego is but the fact <laughs> is the wind is going to blow the wind is going to blow <laughs> as these other things come back and and that's that's part of the point of maturity too is that you don't want to be who you were in high school your whole life no you want these uh, other things to come in, and that I think is what Jung meant a little bit by assimilating the shadow. Right. Like, for me, I'm I'm from West Virginia. Okay, so uh, my my shadow is the hick. You know, right. oh, I hate those hicks. You know, I hate those hicks. That's right. That's right. And I developed a clown. But I am a hick. <laughs> and well, and I developed, and this is part wow. of wow assimilating the the shadow. That uh, you know, you have to ride in a pickup truck and drink beer and wear wear your hat and uh, there's a part of me that loves that yes you see me too and for me to find that though I had to accept the the hickness of West Virginia you could say mm -hmm. in myself that lives in me and for me that happened I had to go there's an exhibition coal mine in Beckley West Virginia I think it's the only one in, in, in the whole country you can actually go into a coal mine it's a state park and I actually mined a piece of coal myself. See, that's that shadow part. That's that black, yeah. underground, hidden. But you know, that, that's the coal, if I'd left it in there, right. another million years, <laughs> it would have been a diamond. <laughs>